In this short how-to video, we'll guide you through our latest enhancement to Data Dynamics, Fannie Mae's free data analytics platform. The new MBS Cohort Analyzer dashboard makes it easy to analyze historical prepayment sensitivity at varying refi incentives or at differing levels of seasoning on user-defined loan population cohorts in agency MBS collateral. Accessible through the MBS tile, click on MBS Cohort Analyzer to access the new tool. The default view is set to display the Fannie Mae UMBS 30-year cohort with the industry standard S-curve analysis on the left and Walla Ramp analysis on the right. This layout is customizable. Users can tailor their view via drop-down filters and options to choose the population by 30-year or 15-year, as of date, vintage, and so on. The base rate can be set under options to either actual market rates or Freddie Mac's PMMS index. Actual is defined as the average rate observed on loans with LTVs less than or equal to 80 and FICOs greater than or equal to 660 that were originated two months prior to the selected performance period. For the first example, we evaluate prepayment sensitivity by creating an S-curve on a population of loan balance cohorts from 2018 to 2020 issued collateral based on one month of performance. Once the parameters are selected, click Update to see the results. As users click through the various population series buckets on the chart, the current UPB is updated as well as the table below. Hovering over the data point will also display the chart detail. On the right-hand pane, we can view the Walla ramp for the same loan balance cohorts set in the S-curves on the left, just shifting to a three-month performance window. Simply mirror the same filter parameters and hit update. The navigation of the Walla ramp chart to display current UPB, the data table below, and the data point detail is the same as the S-curve chart. Easily change the range of wallas on the x-axis under the Options drop-down at the top, and then clicking Update from the filters. In the next example, a second dimension of data is added to construct S-curves for loan balance cohorts across TPO breakouts for 2018 to 2020 issuances, showing the most recent three-month performance. It's important to note, the second dimension titled sub-cohort is only available for S-curves. As you can see, the S-curve chart is now broken out by the selected sub-cohort criteria, in this example, TPO. Finally, we show how users can customize the series and subcohorts for S-curves. Using the same population and performance period from the previous example, click the Options dropdown. Users can customize up to 10 buckets for a series or up to six buckets for a subcohort. Click the respective Update button from the Options menu and then Update from the Filters dropdown to refresh your chart. We hope the new capabilities of generating S-curves and wall of ramp charts on customizable cohorts will give investors an exciting new tool for evaluating the MBS universe. Additional information can be found in the MBS Cohort Analyzer User Guide available on Data Dynamics. Thanks for listening. We hope you find this tool valuable. And as always, please reach out to us with any questions or feedback.